Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show y'all how to set up the wheel bearings on your old Willys Jeep. So you're gonna need a few tools for this job. I've got my old Sears Craftsman torque wrench. You're gonna need the correct spindle nut socket and then like a little screwdriver or pry bar. Now this spindle nut socket, I ordered it from Quarter Ton Military. I'm gonna link it in the description. Also went ahead and ordered new nuts and new washers. Usually by the time you get to servicing these, somebody else has already went at those nuts with like a chisel or a punch or something. They're gonna be all galled up. They're not gonna be good. So go ahead and get a couple of them while you're getting a couple of these sockets. I say a couple, you probably wanna get one for your shop and one for your Jeep on the trail, you know, just in case. All right, so first step, we're gonna grab our hub. This has our outer wheel bearing in it. That'll be loose. And of course your inner wheel bearing is held in there by your hub seal here. So we're gonna slide that on, push it all the way back. The first thing we're gonna put on is a washer. Now there's two different washers. You're gonna have this big thick one and this thinner one. This one also has a tab kind of curled in there. The thinner one is what we want. That's gonna be the first thing to go on. Also, the little tabs are what actually keys into the spindle. That'll keep those washers from rotating. So now we got our first washer in. We're gonna grab our first nut and put that on. Now this should just spin right on there. If you've got any resistance, take it back off and try it again. You don't wanna cross thread these or anything, or if there's a bunch of junk, you don't wanna gall up your threads. So we're gonna run this all the way in until it's hand tight. Okay, so this is where our torque wrench comes in at. And also why it's really important you get this correct spindle nut socket, we're gonna torque this inner nut down to 50 foot pounds. Okay, now that we've got our first nut torqued down to 50 foot-pounds, we're actually going to take our socket, and if you'll notice, this is a six-sided socket. We're going to rotate counterclockwise. We're going to loosen it one flat. So we've got a flat right here. And now we got this flat on top. That puts the correct preload on your bearings. It feels nice. There's no slop in it, there's no movement, so that's really good. So now that we got our preload set and that inner nut is where it's supposed to be, we're gonna take our bigger flat washer, we're gonna put that tab point toward the inside. And finally, our outer nut goes on. Now we're gonna grab our torque wrench again and our big socket. We're gonna to torque this outer nut down to 50 foot pounds. Okay, our final step here, we're gonna take one of these flats and we're gonna roll that washer down on top of it. Now this is why it's important that your skinny, smaller washer goes in the back. This one goes up front because you gotta be able to roll this washer on over to this nut. You'll make sure that washer is good and flat down on top of that nut. That's gonna make sure that this nut doesn't back off and that's also gonna keep your inner nut from backing off and losing that preload on your bearings. And that's all it takes to set up the wheel bearings on your old Willys Jeep. I might suggest a slightly bigger pry bar than what I had. That new washer is a little bit thicker, I guess, than the old one. It took a little bit more to get to bend over. Something else is kind of a side note. It's a lot easier to torque down the bolts on your lockout hubs. If you've got lockout hubs, once you put the tire and everything back on the ground, it just you know keeps everything from spinning. This is something good to know though, especially like I said, if you're out on the trail, you break down or your buddy breaks down, you kind of need to know the sequences to get these things set back up. That's why I said, maybe go ahead and buy a couple of them. They're pretty cheap. 
I know some people will probably ask, I believe it's a two and an eighth inch socket, but the ones that quarter ton military sells are really cheap. I want to say they're 12 or 14 bucks. Maybe I can't remember. And then the washers and nuts. I think those are pretty affordable too. Like I said, all that's going to be linked down in the description. I really appreciate all y'all that like and watch my videos. Also really appreciate it when y'all comment down below, whether it's just saying good job, or if you got a question or even a little bit of criticism, it just helps the channel grow. This was actually a viewer requested video. I think several of y'all had asked about it and I've been meaning to put it together for a while and I finally got around to it. So if there's a video out there that you're looking for, a process of something that you're curious about, comment down below and I'll see if I can put something together for y'all. I appreciate y'all checking out this week's video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see y'all next time.